Hi, my name is Dominic Palazzolo and I'm the owner of Marvelous Molds and uh, I'm making this video as a part of our season of stories where what we try to do is recall some great memories from the holidays that involve food and our family and the things that we really remember. And um, so to help me do this, I have brought my family culinary historian, my brother John. This Hello. Is, this is my brother John here. Right there, John. Oh, okay, hi. Should I bend forward? <laughs> So John is the one who knows how to make all of our family recipes and everything. And so uh, what John's going to do is he's going to show us how to make Café Diablo. All right? Now, you should know that my dad owned six donut shops in Cincinnati, Ohio. And my brother John and I and many, many of our siblings worked hard for my dad. All and of us. Yes. 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 Not many, many. Every sibling. Yes. Every donut was hand cut. Cut, yeah. The uh, shop stayed open 24 hours a day, 364 yeah. days a year. And we would close the shops only on Christmas Eve. Well, anyway, my father would, in the afternoon on Christmas Eve, he would hold court out front in our main store, and what he would do for his regular customers is he would fix this Café Diablo, all right? Our baking connection is that we have donut shops, okay? And my brother and I can really make donuts, in fact, I think I'm better than you, didn't we? I beat you at twist, you break me at rings. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, okay, maybe we should... Twists are the twists that you buy in the store, and rings are like the a, a glazed, glazed donut, donut yeah. okay? And so we would cut them, and I dispute that. I think you, I beat you at everything, but no. anyway, it's all right. We used to have races, but let's go back, let's go back. My father would uh, bring all the uh, regulars, um, would come around two o'clock in the afternoon. My dad would put the blinds down in the shop even though we were open and he would prepare this beautiful coffee. Now John has mastered this just like our Master? pasta sauce, meatballs, <laughs> well, everything that we make our covet covetelli. But anyway, we're, we're, we're going over time. We gotta yeah. get to it. So John, why don't you take over? I will be your trusted assistant. Okay. I don't and know how much about. I trust him, but anyway. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to give ingredients or just do it. But yeah, let's just do it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Basically, you, you put in about 10 to 15 sugar cubes. Dom, get the cloves and the cinnamon right there. Okay. So we have cloves and cinnamon right here. Just throw them in. Okay, just all of them? Yeah. Just, okay. Wow, I got that's a cream measure. That's a lot of cloves. That's like a quarter of a cup of cloves. Three cinnamon three sticks. Cinnamon. And then you pour in more of a medium blend coffee instead of something stronger because you want the flavor of the cloves and cinnamon uh, to get into it instead of having more of a coffee taste. My father had the best coffee in the Midwest. I don't uh, Yeah. It was amazing. Um, Everybody would, they were addicted to our coffee at Daily Donuts. At this point, we're going to move it aside. Okay. Sorry, I think I stepped out of the picture. Mm. <laughs> sort of like Kung Fu when he burnt his... Uh... Yes, that's true. Yes. Okay, bring in. Now we'll bring the cutting board in. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, and what you do is you take a lemon and an orange, and you cut off the nub, and then you just start peeling it. But the tricky part, when you're peeling it, you want the peel to stay all together in one piece. Like a corkscrew. Yeah. So anyway, after you get them peeled, you end up with this. Ta-da! OK, so here we have our corkscrew. It's a lemon and orange peel, okay? 
And what you do is you connect the orange to the lemon peel by taking a clove, use it like a nail or like a tack and you yeah. stick it in there. Okay, and now you have this very aromatic helix. Okay, and we'll show you how we use this later. Okay, so we'll move that. Okay. Okay, you take, cut the orange and lemon in half. And this is the fun part. No, half the other way. You take the orange and the lemon and you sort of squeeze them a little bit and then you just drop them in. Okay. Squeeze them a little bit. You know, John, I noticed that you just got a little annoyed with me, didn't you? Right? Of you course. Know? You know, who cuts lemon and orange lengthwise? <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> Hey, well, if you're going to do it, do it right. I mean, that's what he always says. Anyway, at this point, we add the booze. Okay. Real fun. Tell them what it is. Uh, this... Can you get the cash? <laughs> this is an orange liqueur called Cointreau. All right. And how much are you adding? Uh, about a cup or three-fourths of a cup. I don't know. Who measures booze? No, this okay, is the open one. That's the open one. With booze, you just pour it in. It's better that way. This is a brandy. Yeah. Okay, there you go. And you don't need the most expensive brandy. Just, you know, some, something halfway decent. Dang, John. Hey, okay. we're getting plowed on this. Put okay. that back over there. All right. Then you bring in and you get a sterno. Are, are you going to flame or am I going to flame? I am your trusty trusty servant okay, and just, helper. You tell me what to do. Okay. You're the culinary historian. I'm not a historian. I'm not that old. <laughs> um, I guess we should open the other bottle because there's not going to be enough. Okay. Um, what you're going to do is in a ladle, Yes. Um, you I'm warm it a little bit as yes. you want to put one ladle full of Cointreau Okay. And two ladlefuls of brandy, but what you want to do is... We're going to start with the Cointreau, yeah. and I'm going to do the fun part. The pyro uh, in the family. I was the pyro in the family. <laughs> he will pour one ladle of Cointreau. That's about good. Like that. Okay. And you okay. warm it over the lit sterno, and once it gets warm, you it ignite lights. it. <laughs> Yes. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> well, now wait, we want them to try it. Not you the adults kids out there. Yeah, the okay. adults. Now, uh, I think that's if we could turn off the lights, it'd be better, but we can't. So, uh, we've got this lit. You got to lift way up, or right? I'll go in. Okay. And you start pouring it down, and you can see yes. the flames burning. And what that does is. Get the oils and yes. the uh, cloves right. uh, into the coffee. Now they've got to see this. The aromatic corkscrew made from orange, lemon peel, and cloves. cloves. Okay. Now, are we going to go with brandy? Yeah, two brandy. One okay. quattro, two brandy. Now, my cameraman, Frank, I like would like you to try to turn off the lights so they can see this. You can sort now, of see that yes. in the coffee, um, the liquor that I poured in before is lit and burning out. So you really don't get all that plastered on this. Okay. Although it would be fun. So, ladle coming through. This one's, that's a really there, doing well. There. there it is. That's the beauty shot right there. This is what my dad used to do and John. And mainly I, because it was really festive. Yes, yes. What always surprised me was he did this both steps yeah, by himself. By himself. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with brandy. Yes. Okay. And then, and then warm it. Oops. Jeez. 
He's about to burn the place down. Come and on now. We've done this with no practice. Okay, ready? Is it lit? Yes, okay. ready, and we pour it over here. Now, my dad used to do this like a sommelier at a five-star restaurant. We have this flaming liquor, and what it does is it just extracts the oil right out of the peels, and there's this beautiful blue flame that is kind of washing down the whole thing. And then you amazing. drop the peel down in, you start it a little bit, and you're done. This is Coffee Diablo. Okay. So let's get some people in to taste it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, so we're back and we have our Coffee Diablo all Steeped. Uh, steeped and and you have all the peels in the coffee and what we do is we kind of stir that and make sure that the clove oils and the oils from the peels get into the coffee and then you're ready to uh, to go with this okay so here you go John let me give you a little bit here thank you and uh, I don't think he'd really want to serve this in plastic cups, but that's all we've got here. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of this coffee here. All right, well, from Marvelous Molds to you, this is a memory from our past. My father used to make this, and it was kind of fun, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, really always, it was always fun. We were in the back, you know, supposed to be closing up, and. <laughs> The, the sliding door would or the revol whatever the swinging door. swinging door and you'd see heads pop out and we'd be watching <laughs> <and> <laughs> so anyway from us to you happy holidays uh, hope you try this uh, you won't be disappointed let's give this a taste yep wow that's really good yeah <laughs> guaranteed to be a party pleaser yes Christmas cheer here happy holidays everyone Merry Christmas <laughs>